Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to review new pasta. And it's Bon Appetito time, right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're going to review a product that was sent to us for this review uh this is from a company called new pasta so this must be a new form of pasta so i'll show you like one of the boxes here there's three different kinds they sent us we have a spaghetti an angel hair and a fettuccine yeah. And these are cognac noodles, so very similar to like the Miracle Noodles, that kind of stuff. And we do use those kind of things from time to time, just like as a side. Sometimes I just miss having like a rice or a spaghetti or a noodle of some sort. And you like them because they're filling. I do. I get a lot and it's like almost no calories. So on the back here, there is a little bit of copy. I'll read this one here. It says the fettuccine. It says new pasta is made from cognac, a source of dietary fiber. As such, new pasta is gluten-free does not contain sugars and or non-fiber carbohydrates, and therefore it is low in calories. All the ingredients are used are non-GMO. That's nice to know. New pasta is pre-cooked, shelf-stable at room temperature. No need to refrigerate it. It is packaged in a mildly alkaline solution of 0.05% calcium hydroxide, which is mineral lime water. Interesting. Which is perfectly safe to consume, and it prevents food spoilage. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products um, with something called the Five Things Review. And we try them, we eat them, and then we kind of check out the ingredients and does it keto and how much does it cost and that kind right. of stuff. So we are going to make some of these up. Which one do we want to try? Mm. I feel like I would want fettuccine. We're going to do the fettuccine one. So uh, let's see. How do we have to prepare this? It says, do not microwave in the tray. Do not freeze it. It says, drain the liquid, rinse it with water, add sauce, heat, and serve. So I will go heat this up. Because you need a pot. Because I need a pot. Okay. And we will be right back. Okay. <laughs> so we did them two ways because you're going to probably eat them two different ways. Right. So first of all, before we even get into what we did, I wanted to show you guys, this is what it looks like in the package. Okay, so uh, it's it's got like this little water solution in there. And I will say this, because we've had the Miracle Noodles and all of the different ones. Sometimes that water smells kind of fishy. It, it still smells a little fishy. It's that calcium. But they weren't as slimy as some of the other brands of cognac noodles we've had. So okay. I'm, that's a huge plus, because some of those things are super, super slimy. And when you put it into the pan, it's like drying, drying, drying. Keep yeah. those noodles drying. <laughs> So here's what I did. I took them out of the package. I just, in my, I didn't even put them in like a colander or anything like that. I literally just dumped all the water out, held them in my hand, and rinsed them off with some filtered water. Yeah. My hands were clean. Okay. Just and then I put them into just like a one quart pot and heated them up. No sauce, no nothing. Okay. Okay. Then what I did was I have two different ways. We have this one here, as you can see them, and you can see it. It really does look like fettuccine. It really it, does. It really does look like fettuccine. It's not that translucent white that you know. It really looks like fettuccine. Right. So over this one, I have melted one tablespoon of butter. That's usually the way that I like noodles. And I got that because like when the kids were growing up, that's how Caleb wanted his spaghetti. He didn't want sauce on it. He wanted butter. Yep. So that's the first way we're going to try it. And then the other way... I have just like two tablespoons of the Rouse uh, marinara sauce on here because that would be the other way you probably want to eat it. And I want to know which way do you eat them? Yeah, let us know down below which way do you like pasta? Do you want it with marinara sauce or do you want it with butter on? Which one are we going to try first? Um, I think the butter Let's is move these to the side. probably going to taste, you know, the most plain. Like you're going to taste okay. a noodle the so most. So I didn't put any salt or anything like that because we obviously don't want to like affect anything. We want to really get the genuine taste based on how we would eat it. 
It's going, you can even twirl it. It's going on the fork like spaghetti would. You ready? Wow. So it's not like spaghetti. I mean, it's... It's not pasta. You can let's, definitely let's tell. Let's start that out. It's not pasta. You can definitely tell that it's there's something different going on. It doesn't mm -hmm. have that, you know, the, the snap of a spaghetti noodle. Right. But it's way better than the other ones I've tried. I It's not... And again, it's just not as slimy... No. ...as uh, the Miracle Noodles. It's, it's really tasty. You know, and it, they really are tasteless. So the all of these different cognac noodles, this brand, any other brands, it's going to come down to what you put on it, any kind of seasonings. It's a nice filler to kind of add to it where you used to have rice or something like that. But it has a nice like little chew to it. Yeah, it does have a nice little chew to it. Okay, so let's try it with the spaghetti sauce because that's how I would want it. Oh, are we gonna have a Lady in the Tramp moment? You ready? Mm-hmm. Wow. That's the way to eat it. Especially with the spaghetti sauce on it. Mm -hmm. You're like, hmm, this is a little bit softer than a spaghetti noodle that you're thinking of, but with the sauce on it, you really, it really minimizes the taste difference. Yeah. Now, it, it's a little bit chewier than regular pasta, but if you've ever had Miracle Noodles, they're all chewier. It's a root. That's what it is. This is definitely something, if you have a kid that's like going through a season where it's like only eating chicken nuggets and spaghetti or noodles, I would substitute this out there, at least getting some good fiber. Right. So you want to put this through five things? Five things. So five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So number one, what's so in it? So number one, the ingredients, they're all going to be the same. It's just the way they're shaped. Yeah. Uh, so this is the fettuccine one. The ingredients in this are water, cognac root, soy, Calcium hydroxide, and then it says contain soy. So, yeah. They're all the same. And again, like they said, the That's calcium it. hydroxide is just a mineral water, um, which helps prevent spoilage. So basically, it's the root and it's water. Wa the root and water. So ingredients are good. Yeah. So number two, does a keto based on a nutrition label? So a serving size is one package. So this all would be one serving, which is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, this is, it's heavy, right? Like yeah. A lot. So uh, the ingredient, the one one serving is the uh, one container is the serving. Thirty five calories, one gram of fat, one gram of protein, six total carbohydrates, six grams of dietary fiber. So it's zero net carbs. It's like you're eating nothing, <laughs> like air. But sometimes for people like me, you need some to add some girth to your meal. This right. is going to add some more food. And again, it's not adding in like a bunch of like fake fibers, something like that. I mean, that's a bad word, fake fiber, but it's yeah. it's a root. So it's a root. That's what it's it is. It's a real You're food. basically eating a vegetable. You're not eating like a synthetic fiber. Right. So I think a keto is based on a nutrition label. Heck yes. Number three, how does it taste? Okay, so with the butter, it tastes good to me, but I'm very like cognizant of the fact that it's not spaghetti you definitely need to put some salt some garlic that kind of stuff on it with or if you make like a, a fettuccine alfredo sauce yeah but um, really we're talking about it. plain just plain but butter it needs something to season a it. little seasoning maybe i'd put some like parmesan on it or something like that but with the spaghetti sauce i'm pretty fooled well you're adding seasonings when you're adding a marinara sauce or something just like tastes that. like something that rachel cooked and like overcooked the noodles a little bit and so they got a little too soft for you know they're not al dente yeah if you're like i was pre-keto when i had noodles i always wanted them al dente like you know that thing of like throw them at the wall and stick the way i ate them they didn't stick because i wanted them like hard almost crunchy these are a little bit chewier more like an overcooked pasta noodle but i'm not upset with it and yeah. like i said i feel good eating them yeah again it's a nice filler mm -hmm. okay so number four how much does it cost so i've got my ipad over here i love this new table that i, I can know. have my ipad off to the side there's so much more room for activities 
Okay, so they are available on Amazon, but they were more money. So we're going to go right to the website. We are not affiliated with this company at all. Uh, Rachel loved Miracle Noodles. So I reached out to them and said, hey, would you send us some for a review? And uh, they did. They sent us two of each kind. And that was always, okay, so before you even say how much it is, I can probably rest assured it's not going to be 80 cents like no. a box of spaghetti at Publix. No, because Miracle Noodles are expensive. Exactly. So. Okay, so on their website, you buy them in a case of eight. So you get eight of these. Okay. You can get eight spaghetti, eight angel hair, or eight fettuccines, or you can get an assorted pack, which is just, it's an assortment of eight of the different types. Okay. Okay. Uh, normal price, they actually have, a, I don't know if it's like a new price or if it's just a, a current sale. Regularly, it's $34.32 for eight of them, which is $4.29 a pack. Okay. Which honestly is about the same price as buying Miracle Noodles at like Whole Foods, but I feel like there's more I in this. I feel like there's way more in this. I mean, this is easily two servings, like one for you and one for me to have yeah. like a side with whatever we're eating, whereas Miracle Noodles... It's, it's I don't really remember just how one. much is in a Miracle Noodle pack. I'll put it, I think we have a pack in, in the other cabinet. I'll put across here how much it is or like how much is in the package. But this package is 7.4 ounces. It, it always feels like there's a lot more water than rice or noodles. Yeah, there, there was Miracle very noodles. little water in this. Okay, so currently, according to their website, they have these on sale. $25.74. Wow, that's a significant savings. That's like $10 off. So that would be $3.21 a pack. Or really at like $1.50 a serving. Because, Dollar, yeah. yeah. Well, if you want to go by their serving size, yeah, it's 3 21 But for us, I, I'm happy with that as a serving size. Me too. So that's what they have there. And it also says free shipping is included when you buy a case of eight. So Wow. So $3.21 for eight of them, free shipping. That's pretty good. That's I think that's reasonable, yeah. honestly. So number five, would we recommend these? I absolutely would. The fact that you can get the free shipping, I really like because I have tried to go and get like the Miracle Noodles and you kind of have to hunt for them. Sometimes the Whole Foods runs out of them. Whenever they get them on sale at Whole Foods, Rachel definitely like loads up on them. But there's way less water. There's way less like, I don't know smelliness going on. Yeah. I feel like this tastes way more like a pasta than the Miracle Noodles. Yeah, and did. it's the same thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's probably the amount of that calcium solution they're putting in here. But yeah. again, looking at this package, this package is stuffed. There's water in there, but it is stuffed, not with just water, but with that pasta in there. Yeah. So I would absolutely recommend this. And I will honestly order some of these while they're on sale because, again, I'm not so much into the noodles. But, I don't miss noodles, but, but Rachel really does, like and them. she really likes it because it's a good, very low-calorie filling thing. And, you know, so long as she's not overdoing carbs somewhere else, she's like, hey, I'd rather have this than having a bunch of broccoli or something like that. Yeah. So. So that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section. First of all, like Rachel said, how did you ever like your pasta? Did you like it with butter or with marinara sauce? Mm -hmm. And also let us know what is your favorite way to have it? Do you like angel hair? Do you like spaghetti or do you like fettuccine? Me, I liked angel hair. That's what I prefer angel hair over regular. That's so funny. I like the thicker noodle. So. Well, that is our video, like I said. So please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.